Like the hairs are popping through, honey. They popping through and I don't want them to pop through. <laughs> you want to say anything about your business or say hi or? <laughs> at the location um my appointment is with skin by liana liana llc i'll put her information right here on the screen for you guys and i booked the celebrity facial with an add-on and the add-on is the extended deep extraction facial because i have clogged pores in my chin and in my nose and i feel like whenever i do go get my um facials at hand and stone which is where i usually go i feel like they do a good job by using the um the thing on the face what is it called the diamond glow like it does take stuff out but i feel like there's always so much more left in because they can't do they can't do everything in one visit so you have to consistently go to get your facials in order to see progress that's with anything working out in the gym you know eating healthy habits with anything you have to do it consistently so I want to try something else besides Hand and Stone because I've been going to Hand and Stone for about four years now. Mostly massages, but I started to get facials when I got a back facial there for the first time. Enjoyed it, loved it. Got to keep going to see better results. But I want to do dermaplaning, and they don't offer dermaplaning at Hand and Stone. So I came to Leanne because she was the only person I could find that fit my schedule. That didn't require me to do a whole... Um, consultation <laughs> consultation visit then the actual appointment date like i just don't have time in my schedule to be doing that right now in the future yeah no problem but right now i need to get in i need to get in as soon as possible i need you to be effective so i want to do different planning because i've never done it and i've seen great reviews on it not this location i've seen great reviews at this location but in general i've seen great results on line with people getting dermaplaning done and i am a hairy individual if you don't know if you're new here i am hairy <laughs> i am naturally a hairier girl like i am not like werewolf vibes but i'm definitely semi hairier more hairier than the normal person i guess i don't know but i do have like thick i have a thick hairline i have um the shanti sideburns my brother used to call call them that when we were younger <laughs> rest in peace to him but um yeah i have i have little hairs i have little hairs like in this area i don't know if you guys can really see it and it, it never bothered me like it doesn't bother me now but i do know that when i put makeup on it does affect how my makeup turns out it does affect how the makeup stays on my skin it does affect so it's like i'm spending money on makeup to get a certain look for videos or to just be cute on date night and like the hairs are popping through honey they popping through and i don't want them to pop through <laughs> i don't want them to pop through so i don't want them to be there so i'm gonna get them removed and derm planning is just like shaving basically but with a blade like a um, facial blade not like a razor not with like zzz, like those type of situations it's more delicate to the skin and they say you shouldn't do it on your own which people do it on their own all the time i just want to get someone who's been technically trained to do it first and then if i feel comfortable or if i want to like touch up myself then i'll go in and like do it myself because i do tweeze my own eyebrows every now and then i do arch my own eyebrows every then, but i do not wax i've never done that i've never waxed my own eyebrows never wax anything on my body i've only shaven parts of my body i've used nail on parts of my body i've plucked parts of my body but i've never actually took like like a blade to my body and i don't feel comfortable doing that personally not yet but maybe that'll change in the future so yeah i'm gonna go in i don't know if i'm gonna vlog i don't know if i'm gonna ask i'll see last time i vlogged trying to get maintenance work done my camera broke because i didn't have it in my hand i had it like next to the bed and that's getting fixed right now if you're curious i'm using my gopro 11 that my boyfriend bought me shout out to you baby thank you appreciate you love you you're perfect 
<laughs> so yeah i'm using my girl pro hero 11 right now and i love the quality it's just as good as my sony zv zv e10 zv10 something like that just as good as that um besides a little bit of the quality but it just depends with the gopro if the lighting is good or not if the quality is gonna be as good as i want and you have to really play with the settings but anyway y'all not here for that it's 9 43 my appointment's at 10 i think i'm gonna go ahead and walk in i parked on the street so i don't see a meter and there are other cars here so i'm assuming it's okay for me to park without having to pay there are there is a parking lot and a parking deck right here to my left um lot has numbers on it and the parking deck has um like a meter in your entrance and i don't want to pay for that i don't want to pay for that so i'm just gonna park on the street i think i should be all right i think i should be all right yeah i think the street parking is free we're gonna find out i'll see you guys either after my appointment or once i go inside see ya Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now Baby I took a half You wanna say anything about your business or say hi or <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Liana and this is Skin by Liana. I'm a esthetician licensed and doing facial treatments and face and body waxing, so just welcome. Perfect. Perfect. That's perfect. That is so cool. Oh, Up to you. Wow. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> Where did you get this from? My Amazon? toys. <laughs> Sorry, my dad. Did you buy it from Amazon? No. Hey you guys, I just want to come back real quick to talk briefly about my experience. I actually love my experience. I want to give you guys a better view of my face. She definitely dare my plane. I have lots and lots of clips. I'm gonna I'm gonna load the clips on the screen. Um, I recorded while I was in there. She was all for it. She did not care about me recording. She even recorded some stuff on her phone because my phone did die and my camera did die. So she came in, she came in and saved the day. Her name was Liana and I really, really enjoyed her. She did a really thorough job. She really got my pores clean. She really extracted. It was painful, but that's, that's a part of getting your pores extracted or getting your, the, um, dead skin and getting the, the pimples and all that stuff you have to get that stuff out like it's the most important part of having a facial and sometimes when i go to get facials they don't really be doing all that it's like it's almost like it's too much it's almost like it's too much sometimes because they don't have enough time but she had plenty of time i made sure i booked the extra add-on to get that taken care of so yeah and i do see a difference she told me about all the products she used on me she sent me um the products the details of the products that way i could order them if i wanted to and i made another appointment i made another appointment to go see her and yeah i'm very satisfied first i'm getting dermaplane and i enjoyed it she even dermaplane between my eyebrows. She's like, you want me to get between? And I was like, yes. 
get between, please get between. <laughs> so yeah. Can y'all see the difference? What y'all think? Do I look the same? I actually fell asleep too. I was in there snoring, girl. That is not cute. That is not cute. <laughs> Briefly though, I wasn't in there sleep for the whole time. But it did take about an hour and a half for her to do my facial. Which I'm not mad at because I love when people take time to get their job done and do it thoroughly. I feel like when I go to Hand and Stone, it's more of a rush process. More of like an in and out type of vibe. Like you're just another another name on the list that we got to get through the day to make money to keep the building open but it felt very personable it felt very much like she was taking care of me being honest about things wasn't trying to sell me a dream wasn't trying to sell me any any type of add-ons like in hannah stone that's the first thing i'm gonna do when you walk in is there anything else would you like us to do before you leave or would you like us to add on this we have this going on we also offer this like they're pushing the sales but she wasn't pushing anything she was just pushing what I came in for, letting me know what I was coming in for and what was gonna be done in order to get my goals for my skincare accomplished. So it felt very good. I felt very comfortable. She was super sweet, super nice. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.